guys, welcome back to my channel where I'm gonna be cooking another awesome dish today from Sims for my Anna Bites series. So we're gonna be cooking up pasta primavera, which is a gourmet cooking recipe that you can make in Sims and we're gonna make it here in real life. It's really easy. You can make it in one pot. So this is gonna be like really simple, easy dinner. Um, I will have the recipe on my website, natalisa9.com. And also I'll link it on Twitter and Discord and all that. So you, hopefully you can find it in a description down below. Remember, if you wanna request me to cook anything from a video game, it doesn't have to be Sims, but we're starting here. Um, but any video game food that you'd like to see me try to cook, I do have a Discord channel. If you wanna join my Discord, uh, we are Discord partners, so discord.gg slash 89 if you want to join that. And also just leave a comment below if you want to let me know here, so then I can keep track of it and add it to my list and get to as many of your requests as possible, okay? So yeah, let's make some pasta primavera. It's a really great summer pasta dish. Uh, you can make it with chicken or shrimp or something, but it also is really hearty on its own, so it's easy to make, like I said, in one pot with whatever veggies you have on hand, whatever pasta you have on hand, and we're gonna see how it turns out. <laughs> I actually haven't made this before, but it does look pretty simple, and I think we can uh, have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, let's go. All right, we're going to cook some pasta primavera, and this is a gourmet skill, so you may have to have, I think, three levels in gourmet cooking to be able to cook this and see it and there you go let's do it i really need to make a better kitchen for her because apparently one countertop is not enough especially when i'm testing out different recipes and she leaves them everywhere eh, i'll do that one day maybe i'll recreate my real kitchen how cool would that be Actually, I'm gonna do that. All right, so you chop up your bell pepper. Hey, look, I use bell pepper. Yay! Put it into the pan. Stir it up nice and smooth. Add some salt. Stir again. This actually is pretty similar to how I cooked it. I think it's a bit more similar than the uh, first recipe we did. Level five, heck yeah! We made some excellent pasta primavera. It actually doesn't look ugly. <laughs> Not as ugly as this thing, right? The salmon, it looks so bad. This actually looks like something you would eat. So, all right, easy. I guess that's that's how we do it. And now you get to go see how I did it. So yeah. Well, you can't forget to actually eat it since the show is called Anna Bites. So I'm gonna make my Sim eat it too. What do you think, girl? Oh, she's very sad. I mean, cause she has no friends. I. <laughs> this is too real. <laughs> Fine, I'll get over it. Just cook your food, make your content, ignore, you know, the feelings of sadness and just stay busy and you'll be good. That's my advice. Good girl. All right, now let's go cook. All right, so today we're gonna be using all these ingredients. We got our heavy cream, our lemon juice, our penny pasta, chicken stock, salt and pepper, bell pepper, onion, spinach, uh, Parmesan and Italian seasonings. All right, we're gonna take 18 ounces of chicken broth, which is two and ooh, two and a third cups, so a lot. I'm trying not to splatter on my face, cause yeah, it is. It's fine. All right, there you go. The fun thing about this, we're cooking the pasta in chicken broth instead of water, so it's gonna have a lot more flavor, even without having meat in it. Right, then you're gonna get your about cup and a half of pasta, however much you wanna make really, but for this amount of liquid, you want about a cup and a half of pasta. Then we're gonna put it in a pan. Chicken broth. It's hot. I did heat the pan a little bit, just for show. <laughs> totally on purpose, all right. So chicken broth is in with the pasta. Just gonna stir that up. Obviously, it's gonna take a couple minutes to get hot again, but that's okay. So we're basically gonna wait for this to boil, and then we're gonna turn the heat down to low and put a lid on it. Oh, wrong one. There. And while your pasta is heating up, you can get your veggies ready. I'm just gonna take some spinach. I'm not really gonna cut it down too much, but that should be about enough. Perfect. 
because it's gonna cook down really nicely no matter what. So you don't really need to chop your spinach, but have it ready. And fresh is obviously better than frozen. Oh, Panda, this does work. It's a wet paper towel. Didn't even have to use like a regular towel and it's like magically like suctioned and barely moves. It's amazing. All right, let me cut up our bell pepper. This is gonna give us lots of nice color. Not the prettiest inside, but that's okay. You cut it all off and now we're good. I'm gonna cut this nice, nice little slices and I'll probably dice them into chunks too. Because personally, I like smaller pieces of pepper. Sometimes bell pepper can be too overpowering, you know, in flavor. That's why like, I like bell pepper, but definitely small pieces would work well in this recipe, but you know, however you wanna cut up your veggies, doesn't really matter. That's what's pretty cool about this recipe. You kinda use whatever veggies you have on hand. You could use broccoli, you could use carrots, you could use, um, you know, any other tomatoes. I just don't like cooking with tomatoes unless it's like for a sauce specifically. That's just me. <laughs> so I don't add extra tomatoes if I don't have to. All right. Now, oh, if, can I remember? I, I gotta remember how, how to cut an onion in the best way that I learned at HEB when I worked in the grocery store and was doing food samples. Because we would cook like actual recipes and stuff, not just regular food, because they had like mini kitchens. And we actually had to learn like techniques. This is how I learned how to cut my onions. You have to keep the rind in, like at the bottom there. And then you go at an angle, make slices all the way down, not all the way through. Oh God, I think I messed it up. I haven't done this in so long. But something like that, all the way across at an angle. And then what you're gonna do, chop, 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 just like that. Nice little pieces without having to do too much work. And because it's still connected, it doesn't slide around everywhere. Pretty nifty little trick. I don't know if it'll help you. Or how do you cut your onions? Let me know. Also, I learned a really good way to cut apples from the same people, which I'll show in another time. Really quick way. Normally I'd be like, take me forever to cut up that much onion, right? And make it look good without things falling over, but there you go, all done. Okay, veggies are ready. And now we're just waiting for pasta to boil and it looks like it is. All right, so now that it's boiling, we're gonna turn the heat down a little, just above low, and then cover it. And that's gonna cook for about five more minutes. All right, so our spices, which entails Parmesan, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning is all mixed together and ready to go when the pasta's ready. All right, let's check on the pasta. It's getting there, it's getting there, looking good. Just gonna give it a couple more minutes before we add our veggies and the seasoning. Alrighty, pasta looks about ready. Not ready, but ready to the stage that we want it to be. You don't want it to be too cooked down, not yet. So we're gonna throw our veggies in, pepper, spinach, and onion. This is gonna be really pretty color-wise. That's why I grabbed all those different veggies. Like, people are like, you could use broccoli. I was like, that's more green. I don't need green when I have spinach, you know? Lots of veggies, very hearty dish, and actually pretty healthy. Yes, there's heavy cream in the sauce, but overall, not a lot of bad, but still it's gonna have a lot of flavor. So this is gonna cook down a few more minutes. So we mix it all up. Might take a few to cook. There's still liquid in the pan. You don't want it to be uh, too dry. If it is, then you might wanna add some more chicken broth, but mine looks all right. Like it's got enough there. Oh, and then we gotta add our seasoning. Let's see, mix up the veggies, throw all that in there, and then stir it one more time so that it's nice and combined. You need the seasoning, of course. What, what would you do without seasoning, you know? When in doubt, add salt. Unless you're on a, a low sodium diet, then I don't know how to help you. I think there's like non-salt salt out there. Is that a thing? I don't know. All right, so that's gonna cook down. It's already smelling pretty great. And we're gonna cover it. Ow. It was a little warm. <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna cover it and let it cook for about five more minutes. Six minutes, I think, okay? Are you ready for this? Energy. I need it. I'm a little bit tired. It's 
but I think you could do this. You could totally make this as well. It's really simple and one pan, like easy. I don't even have to do anything or clean up many dishes, you know? This is, this is why I love these videos. I feel like I can make some really cool, unique stuff without going over the top and trying to do like five dishes in a day, making a mess in my kitchen, hating my life for two days because of how much I have to clean. So yeah, this format, I'm really liking it. I hope you guys are too. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what other type of stuff you want to see me cook. I'm gonna do at least two a week. That's my goal. I do work, stream loots, busy a lot, and then also trying to make time for my own Sims content and other things as well and hanging out, playing games with you guys, you know, there's a lot to do, but it's okay. I have nothing else to do right now because quarantine and you know, we have to like stay away from people and I don't have any friends, so we're here. So my focus is content and doing as much as I can because it's the only thing I control in my life right now. You know, you know that feeling? Cause yeah, that's where I'm at right now. It's fine. All right, we're doing two tablespoons of lemon juice to freshen up the dish. Cause you guys know how much I love lemons, so. This stuff's really good. It's the Santa Cruz organic lemon juice. My dad used to work at a company that makes those juices. So yeah, it's, it's so fresh. It's so much better than that concentrated stuff that you see in the supermarket. I highly recommend using it or just using fresh lemons, whatever you have. And then this is gonna be half a cup of heavy cream. I'm just gonna add that in there, dude. Just over half a cup on the line because it's going together anyway. They're gonna be friends. So this is how you're gonna get your creamy pasta sauce. There you go. So not a lot, not a ton. How much calories is half a cup? One tablespoon is 50 calories. I don't know how to math that. How many tablespoons is in a half a cup? I, I, I'm not gonna guess. <laughs> it's not too bad, okay? It's a whole dish, probably for about two people, I would say, or two meals. Okie dokie, looks like it's about ready, or I feel like it's about ready. The pasta looks like it's cooked to, you know, a decent dente. <laughs> I don't know, I don't mind pasta being a little softer. Some people want it like exactly at the point of al dente, but I like it cooked a little bit more. So, you know, I'm gonna cook it how long I want. Um, but that's about ready. So at this point, you're gonna add in the cream and the lemon juice, ew. That looks so gross. <laughs> Cause it like curdled. Oh my God. Is that fine? I hope so. I hope I won't die. Cream and lemon juice equals yogurt. It kind of looks like yogurt. Weird. Okay. Smells good. Looking better now that it's cooked down. There we go. See, we're good. Now it's not chunky white stuff. Fine. I think it's pretty. I mean, yes, I could have used a little more of spinach now that I'm looking at it again too, but you know, whatever. Spinach is weird. Like you think you have enough and then it's like, boom, it's like this much. <laughs> like what? It's okay. Think flavor wise. So we just cooked this for about two minutes to let it kind of thicken up just a little bit. And if you wanted to add more Parmesan cheese, this would be the time to. I just ran out. So we're, we're, we're making it the best we can, okay? I think it's pretty still. It'll still make for a good picture and a tasty dinner since I'm by myself right now and I gotta make my own food. Smells very lemony now, which is great. Nothing wrong with lemons. All right, I think it's looking creamy enough. So we take it off the heat. So then it will thicken up a little bit more even. And there we go. I'll see you guys in five minutes. All right, it's gotten a little thicker. Look at that, it's not as thin of a sauce as it looked to be right when we were done with it but it looks like really tasty. So we're gonna bite into this and see if it actually tastes as good as it looks and smells. All right, we're gonna bite into it and see. I hope this tastes good. Trying to get like a mix of veggies. I did cut up the veggies pretty small, which is fine. There's some spinach. Mm, it's hot. Hmm, you know, that's really nice. I think, I think that's a really nice dish. Like, it surprised me because like, I haven't had something quite like this, I guess. Cause it's got the lemony creaminess to it, which is different for a pasta dish. But then you also get the veggies go really nicely with it. And I'm sure whatever veggies you throw in here, like, I, oh, you know one veggie I forgot? I bought zucchini, didn't I? I swear I bought zucchini, did I? I don't, now I'm doubting, did I? Oh well, well, I was supposed to have zucchini in here too. I was wondering, I was like, I feel like there was more veggies. Oh well, it's fine, tastes good. Mm. It's like light and refreshing. 
I think maybe a little bit more salt, just my taste. I think a little bit more salt would be a little bit better. But overall, flavor-wise, it's there. Like, it tastes great. I'm totally having this for my dinner and for my lunch tomorrow, yes. And yeah, easy pasta primavera from The Sims. What do you guys think? Do you think you're gonna try and make it yourself? I think you should, it's really easy. It took me like 15 minutes. <laughs> and one dish, other than like the measuring utensils. Those don't count as dishes, okay? Highly recommend it. Very flavorful, good for summertime because it's a light pasta dish, not heavy on the cheese. You can add more parm, like I just ran out, like I said earlier. I'm content with this, like I, I will say, I guess I'm a little bit of a good cook. I can cook almost anything and make it taste decent. Yes, I've had some fails, but more often than not, things turn out pretty tasty. So we're gonna keep up that, hopefully. That's so good. I think you guys should make this at home and then tell me what you think about it. Make it for your family, make it for yourself for a couple meals, you know, meal prep, whatever you wanna do. Add some chicken, throw some shrimp on top, even better. But you don't, you don't need it. Like I feel like it's hearty enough where it doesn't really need the meat. But if you feel like you wanna add meat to it, you totally could too. I just didn't wanna cook up extra stuff that I didn't have to, cause in The Sims, it's just pasta primavera. Yeah, I hope you guys like this little video and I hope you like this series, Anna Bites. I can't wait to do more. Next week, I think we're gonna get to the chicken salt and boca and the Monte Cristo, which is a really cool uh, deep fried sandwich, which is, has sweet to it and saltiness, so it should be interesting. And chicken salt and boca is like prosciutto wrapped chicken, basically with mozzarella inside. So that'll be different too, because I'll be working with actual protein next time. So I hope to see you guys in the next videos. And if you like it, leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and yeah, I don't know. I'll be here, make sure you join Discord and let me know what else you wanna see on my channel from any video game, food-wise, okay? Just leave me a comment and I will respond and I will add it to my list of to-dos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video, I guess, very, very soon.